Hey y'all, that's bandsaw. I didn't know it was a metal cutting tool. See that? I got cut right on into it, half inch, before I realized I was even into it. Into it. And it was cutting right through that sucker. So now I gotta replace the band on here. And uh, one thing I'm gonna be doing to solve this problem for, for my mistakes in the future is I'm gonna cut some two by two oak. I've been for that right, so if I get into those, if I if I don't watch it, forget it, at least I won't hurt the band. So anyway, for the joys of replacing the blade. And one thing I want to talk to you all about is, you know, I, you know, I've been telling people I really like these saws and stuff, and I think it's a, a good way to make a little extra cash, you know, if you're a homesteader and stuff. But one thing I just thought of this morning is, uh, one thing you all might want to be aware of is the areas where you're at, where you're, where you're selling the lumber for, what you're selling the lumber for. If you're selling, trying to sell structural wood, most places the lumber has to be graded. You can't just uh, oops. You, you can't just go cut some wood lumber, you know, and stuff, and, and build a house with it in most areas. It don't work that way. You can cut siding. Siding don't have to be graded unless the siding is a shear panel too. Then it has to be graded. But uh. You you can cut you can cut a lot of stuff. You can cut fencing, cabinetry, fin finished lumber. Building department department does not require the grading of lumber on those things. <coughs> well, that's a tight bolt with too small of a wrench. But keep that in mind, y'all. If you wanna if you want to uh, have a sawmill, don't be thinking without checking on into your area what's acceptable that you can sell unless you have a greater stamp license and uh, can grade lumber And by the way, you might all might be wondering why is he all bundled up? It's cold here this morning, folks. It's 61 degrees. Man, I thought it was going to snow. Want to loosen up. Yeah, the video is going to probably be pretty boring from here on out, so if you all want to jump ahead, fast forward, see if there's going to be something that's exciting towards the end of it. I have no clue how long this video will be. Huh. 
maybe it's set to. This thing's not want to back off. All this stuff is loosened out. There we go. Check out that blade. Boy, it took the tip right off of there. One thing about the, this part of Oregon, allergies are horrible. Don't move here. Yeah. Nose is constantly running. <laughs> and when taking these blades apart, uh, opening them on up, be careful. These suckers are sharp. And then generally they are backwards, so you gotta turn them inside out. Get the teeth going the right direction. Give the blade a few turns to make sure the track the blade is tracking right properly. Get it in the right location. Make sure you use your Oklahoma uh, handkerchief to blow your uh, nose with. Okay, now I know you can't see through the panel, but there ain't nothing exciting about this. I'd have to move the stack of lumber so the door would open all the way. Ain't got no place to sit you know, on the other side. But now we use the caliber. Oh, 
Maybe I should move you guys where you can see what's going on here. Anybody that decides to get a sawmill. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see what's going on in here. But anyway, uh, let me take this here, get it decent snug on there. We're going to set this to zero. Tap it a few times. Now my tension, I want to bring it up to 2,000 right here. Now this is the first time, you know, stretching out the blade. I have no idea if you guys can see what's going on with that or not, but... Eighteen hundred and twenty-two hundred pounds, and uh, actually between eight hundred and eighty and two two hundred and twenty, actually. And right now I'm at about a hundred and hundred and ten, hundred and twenty. Hundred and sixty. Oh, a strong one seventy five. One more little turn on here. Yeah, a little more. Just about to 200. Give it a tap, see where it's in the ballpark. We're just a little over 200. So now I'm going to lock this stuff down over here. <sighs> It's that easy. Now, what I'll be doing from here on out, I'll be making a cut. And then I'll give, uh, after I make a cut, I'll tur turn the, uh, the handle one eighth of a turn to tighten it. Then I'll make another cut, I'll tighten it a little bit more, and I'll do that five times after each time I make one cut. And then it should be go good to go. Anyway, if the girls can't find you handy, they can sure find you handsome. Y'all come back now, you yeah? hear?